If you were an oyster looking for a place to live in San Francisco Bay, you'd want to find a nice shallow spot with something hard to latch onto. It might be something like a rock or even an old ball kicked into the bay. Or it might be a 1,000 pound block made of sand, cement, and shells with big holes in it. In May 2019, a group of people who had worked for over three years to create more places for oysters to live in San Francisco Bay gathered to watch the construction of the Giant Marsh Living Shorelines Project. So that is our barge and crane coming in to do work on oyster reef construction. That's Triton Marine. Um, they've brought a very shallow barge that can get into this shallow area. And once they get into this area, they'll start using that big crane to place oyster reef elements into the water. Why are you interested in building a living shoreline here on here in this park? Uh, well, there's extremely important marshes um, in, in this area and a, a great habitat along the shoreline. And in order to protect those areas from sea level rise and from climate change, it's really important to um, look at solutions to limit coastal erosion. And uh, the Living Shoreline Project really can, it can do that in a way that provides additional habitat. So we're not using physical um, engineered structures to protect the marshes, but we're using other habitat features that really enhance the overall function of the marsh area. The triumphant crew returns. We ended up doing three treatment locations, and one of them is deeper, and that's really optimized for the oyster colonization. And then there's one, this one is shallower, which is a bit more uh, geared towards the shoreline protection. And we used uh, wave modeling to look at how much energy dissipation we could expect as we were making some of those decisions. The Giant Marsh Living Shorelines project will cost $3 million and take several seasons to complete. It's all part of an ambitious experiment to build and link multiple habitats on our shores and jumpstart a healthier ecosystem. Yeah, I think what keeps you up at night maybe how do we deal with this on a larger scale and how do we uh, scale up these efforts to do them um, to benefit more people, more communities and to protect our shorelines. <laughs>